Hello, this is the Linux Gamer, and today I'm going to make kind of a less incoherent, better organized, and more informative tutorial on downloading and using KSP mods. So, I guess let's start. The easiest way to install KSP mods is the CCAN program, which does it mostly automatically for you, so you don't actually have to go fiddling around finding files in your file system and stuff. So. Uh, link will be in the description, but you can also see it in my address bar right now. Anyway, latest release is Chandra Soccer. Uh, came out April 24th, 2020. At least that's the latest as of the time of this video. This will probably change soon with KSP 1.10 about to come out, but whatever. These notes are really helpful, but I'll just summarize them. If you're on Windows, you need ccan.exe. You just double click that and it runs ccan. On Mac, you need ccan.dmg that will install ccan. I believe it also automatically installs mono. Not sure though. And then this is for Fedora Linux and this is for Debian Linux. And since I have Linux Mint, which is based off Debian, this is the one I'll be demonstrating in this video. So I'm going to pop that into my downloads folder, which I believe is already open. Yep. And I can double click to install and I get a message here that says all dependencies are satisfied however you might get a message that says missing dependencies and that's where this tab comes in um, especially on Linux and possibly also on Mac you're going to need to make sure you have an up-to-date version of mono installed so um, I'll leave a link to this page. It's got instructions for Mac OS and Linux. You don't need it for Windows, but for Windows, you do need to have .NET um, 4.5, I believe. I'll also leave instructions for that. Anyway, yeah, it gives instructions for all kinds of things. Ubuntu would be the one for Linux Mint, but I've already done that, so I can just ignore that. Anyway. I actually uninstalled CCAN for this, so I'm going to have to go and reinstall it. And I need to get my password. Of course, the installation was really short for me since I had all the dependencies and libraries and stuff, but for you it might take more like two minutes. Okay, for your first launch of CCAN, you'll probably want to do it through the terminal in case your start menu hasn't caught up. At least that's a thing that I've had issues with on Linux. Anyway, um, this is kind of misleading because it's in one of my directories of KSP, like a custom KSP install with an old version and a ton of mods, but this provides me an opportunity to show you how to set it to a different KSP install location. In this case, I want auto, since that's the default Steam location, which is my uh, clean KSP install with no mods. Anyway, it'll scan for DLCs and other manually installed mods and stuff, and say I want Kerbal Engineer Redux. There it is. You literally just have to tick the box, and when you've ticked all the boxes of the mods you want, sometimes it'll rat out because of conflicting mods or dependencies kind of leaves you up it up to you to go through like this menu to find out what's actually causing conflict but anyway when you're done you click apply changes it'll review stuff sometimes if you've got certain mods it will give you suggestions and you just click accept I already had it cached so it didn't have to download anything but you probably won't have it cached so it'll ask you to download stuff but yeah, that's how you install with CCAN, and we're going to launch KSP, not with this button, since this button never works, but I'm just going to go and go to my KSP thing, and pop it open, and just demonstrate that Kerbal Engineer has in fact been installed. I'll probably speed this part up. Okay, here we are in the vehicle assembly building, and just to confirm Kerbal Engineer is working, I can start building a rocket, and there you go, you got the menus, so I'm just gonna force quit KSP now. And say you want your clouds or something, you can. we can demonstrate a manual mod install for um, Spectra, which is a... it makes things look better. 
basically. Uh, so the place is spacedoc.info. You can search up your terms. So um, Spectra download. It's pretty big, so I'm going to skip this. Okay, so here I've got the archive. Okay, so here I'm um, inside the archive there was a game day here. Sometimes there will just be the mod, but inside the game day here you want to grab the mod and um, I'm going to want to put it in to my Kerbal Space Program directory slash game data and that's how you do it. Again, just gonna launch KSP for proof that it worked. Okay, so the main menu is now loading and once it loads we should just see that Kerbin looks different. Um, as you can see, it looks weird on the main menu, don't worry, with Spectra it won't actually <laughs> look like this in-game. It just looks funky on the main menu. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch this guide. I hope it could have been helpful in some way. Um, if you want to see more stuff, subscribe. If you liked the video and found it helpful, like, share it with a friend who might need it, etc. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.